Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Agile Programming with Xilinx, we are Design Student Jing FEG. We are from Digitronics Nepal. So, we already have completed section 1, section 2. Section 1 uh, actually have overview of PSGL, VR design flow and Jing architecture. And we also have done our lab session in section 1 with designing and implementing Nogate in VR and tested on Jailboard FEG. So, we already have uh, completed section 2 also simulating the logic gate, NAND gate or other logic circuit in BSDL with the audio simulator and currently we are in section 3 which is actually conditional instrument with BSDL in this uh, section we have some basic logic of conditional instruments and we also talk about how to use process statement and if statement, case statement and we also have an lab session lab 3.1 which is actually decoder design and implementation on FEG so this is uh, today's section and after completing this section you will be able to explain about conditional instrument in BSDL and you will be know about uh, or explain about concurrent instrument and sequence instruments process statement if statement and case statement and how to use those statements in BSDL and finally you will be have idea of design and implement decoding geography so guys um, here is the basic logic of conditional statement. Actually, conditional statement are those statements which actually check the some scenario or condition. Then after it direct us to any one of the logic or if the condition is true, then one statement will be executed. If the condition is false, then another will be executed. So conditional statements might be different types of statements, and we are talking about uh, some of conditional statements like when statement with select statement these statement are available in bsdl so another is if statement if with if else or if with then another is case statement so uh, conditional statements are very useful for uh, designing like uh, uh, different uh, logic circuits are implementing different algorithm in bsdl because we need to check some condition and execute uh, those condition with some statements so condition like instruments uh, can be talk is like uh, we can uh, uh, differentiate is uh, sequential and concurrent instrument actually concurrent instrument are those instruments which can run on parallel like multiple concurrent instrument can execute on uh, can run or uh, execute on parallelly but sequential instrument are those instruments which can run on one after another so I'm talking about concurrent instrument there are some concurrent instrument available uh, uh, which actually include some sequential instruments means like uh, we are uh, uh, have example of when else statement this is uh, like conditional single assignment instrument when else so output will be uh, here we have one example uh, r is the output port which will have our uh, assignment of a plus b plus c when m equals to n else a minus b will be sent to r when m is uh, greater than n else this will be sent to or uh, this will be transferred to r means output so it checks the um, this uh, boolean expression if boolean expression is true then it will uh, send the value value expression to signal name so this is the uh, with select and another uh, sorry uh, when else and other is with select this is also a uh, uh, sequential statement actually it executes one after another and we can see an example with we check the select value select if uh, r will have uh, this a plus b plus c when value of select is 0 0 r will have a minus b when value of select is 1 0 else or when others condition c plus 1 will be uh, transferred to r so you can see here uh, syntax with select select means the value of SEL will be checked on this twice one twice two and twice three and one other condition. So with select select this is the keyword function and SIG will have value expression one when twice one is true and when twice one is true on the sense when twice uh, when the selection SEL have twice one value and another thing this, these are the uh, actually uh, sequential instrument uh, by itself but 
while we need to use uh, concurrent statement it means parallel statement we need to know about process actually process is the concurrent statement block process itself is a concurrent statement so we can include multiple sequential statement in side of process so in a single program there might have different process means different concurrent statements and in inside of it concurrent statement there may have different sequential statements so sequential statement is good one after another concurrent statement is good parallelly so multiple process statement is good parallelly so we use process statement for executing different sequential statement and one uh, another thing we'll talk, we are going to talk about is sensitivity process statement includes the sensitivity list actually a sensitivity list is the ports uh, listing a uh, list of ports which are dependent or the process is dependent on those ports so here we have some syntax of process statement we can see here process process sensitivity list and process will begin and process will have in process so process begin in process in between begin and in process there will have different sequential statement like if else when else when case like different so we can have another process also this this will be one process might have one program might have different process so on the sensitivity list we need to list out all the uh, ports all the port names which are uh, affecting the process or the process which are dependent on the ports need to be listed on here sensitivity list so sensitivity lists are the collection of ports uh, collection of ports uh, while the process are uh, in which the process is sensitive sensitive on so now uh, we can see here uh, an example we have another statement if statement actually if is quite similar is if statement in uh, other high level programming language so if will next expression check then sequence statement will have executed and else if then another statement else if else if else and uh, one important thing is we need to have end if also because we don't use end if in other high level programming language but we need end if for closing this end statement uh, sorry if statement in bhdl so here we have an example process with this process is dependent on a b c m n and another uh, main thing is most of the combination circuits are dependent or sensitive on all the inputs so we need to list out all the inputs while designing combination circuits and while designing sequential circuits process are dependent on inputs as well as clock while clock will also be the inputs uh, input port but we need to list out inputs all the inputs and clock uh, we don't use uh, like uh, signals uh, uh, necessarily but uh, while talking about signals signals are like uh, temporary variables or wires so sometimes we also need to uh, and uh, sequence instrument uh, need to have inputs and clock as we talk about so while uh, using signals we need to list out signals also because signals are just like wires so sometimes we need to uh, list out the signals in the process statement while we use some signals so we can see the if statement example here so uh, process which are which is dependent or sensitive on a b c m n these are all our input uh, on any combination circuits or input and clock in any uh, sequential circuits so process is sensitive on these five variables process has been started with begin process has been uh, ended with in process actually we need to have in process this is earlier version of bhdl so this uh, screenshot is actually taken from uh, douglas l perry bhdl example book so you can also refer this book and if boolean expression m equal to n is true then r will have a plus b plus c means a plus b plus c will assign to r else if m is greater than zero then this is actually boolean expression this boolean expression uh, uh, gives the result of one or zero means if this is n equals to n is true then it will give one then this will be executed if this is false then it will give zero means this line will give zero so it will not execute it and another line will be executed so and the line will be check not not exactly executed because it need to be true for execution so else R will have this a plus uh, c plus one means uh, else condition means uh, if these previous condition are not true then it will be executed so we need to close end 
sorry we, we need to close if statement with end if then after in process so uh, another uh, statement is uh, case statement we are talk about uh, uh, which select when else when else we select if and case statement this for our main statement in bsdf so uh, we mostly use if statement and case statement while we using uh, case and if this case and if are sequential statements so we need to have process process actually is a concurrent statement which includes different sequential statement so we can see here cases like is uh, with select statement so we initially have case struct uh, struct keyword case uh, variable name sel which case we need to check each case variable name each when selection I have choice one then this sequence statement will be executed when selection have this another statement will be executed when others sequence statement will have executed in between these two choice two and one another there might have different choice and uh, conditions and in case will be there so process in process process begin and case in case between this case select is when value of select is zero zero uh, r will be have value of a plus b plus c like this statement we can use for designing decor design multiplex or design or any insert machine design so this statement are quite useful so we are going to use this statement uh, in later so let's go to our lecture 4 this is actually lab 3 1 which is actually decoder design and implementation decoder is the uh, combination circuits which actually uh, decodes means 2 bit data or n bit data decodes into 2 to the power n data so uh, we can see here this uh, data from a and b is decoded with 4 bit format so we can use decoder for decoding or, uh, or uh, identifying the information and like deciphering means we can uh, unpack the data into the original format so here we have an example of uh, 2 is to 4 decoder we can see here here we have two different uh, logic for decoder implementation actually and we can see this part initially uh, we have library we have decoder which have input of in input standard logic and vector we don't have talk about vector uh, until now so we'll talk um, uh, in this uh, recorder so actually vector is a uh, format of uh, defining array type of ports means if we want to define multi-bit port then we, we use input standard logic vector means we use standard logic underscore vector and one down to zero this shows that i is input type of standard logic array which have 1 down to 0 means 2 bit array so in i have i0 and i1 in input mode and we have i uh, sorry o3 to o0 in output mode so these two lines identify or signify that input vector and output vector of 1 down to 0 and 3 down to 0 we can use uh, 2 down to 1 also uh, so we can see here uh, we have input of 2 bit and output of 4 bit so we can start from 4 down to 1 which actually represents 4 bit means this is the msb value and this is the lsb value so msb to lsb so we can see uh, in, uh, end of entity and architecture has been started here architecture begin and we have process process in bracket we have i means that is input i this is actually combination circuit so there, there is no any clock or any other inputs just i and process has been started and process has been ended and we need to have case <coughs> statement so case i have case i is when value of i is zero zero means input is zero zero then means we can uh, take reference this sign is then when i is zero zero we will be have zero 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 one zero one zero zero one zero and this is the basic algorithm or logic of decoder so we just have pick up the truth table of decoder and represent that truth table in this when case statement and finally we need to have when others also if we don't in, uh, write one others or if we don't have one others then there will be have some latch uh, the, uh, latch will be created so it will miss show you some errors so when others we will have 
this value means this is like undefined value so you can just place any other values also like 0 0 0 0 and case will be ended we need to have in case and in process and in behavior so uh, this is the one logic of using case when or when case statement and another process is also there like uh, we can see here we can represent this architecture as this architecture when else of decoder is begin and we are going to use when else we will talk about when else statement so output will be this when i have this else this 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 or else the default value means x x x or 0 0 0 will be transferred to output o so o is 4 bit i is 2 bit so value of i we have in check and corresponding output will be send it so we can see here and the architecture has been ended so this is actually two different methods for designing this type of 2 is to 4 decoder so we are going to design this and implement this type of decoder or uh, this decoder actually we are going to uh, do this bsdl implementation of decoder in vivado so guys let's implement the decoder in vivado and i will implement this bit stream in jink fpg so guys uh, we'll have vivado session soon so guys meet you in another video uh thanks for watching